from Lindawal High School. This is the Morning Roar with anchors Basante Bundy and Joseph Hicks. Meteorologist Alicia Wilson and the 411 with Alicia Wilson. Good morning, LHS. It's a good morning, isn't it? Wonderful morning. I'm Basante Bunny, and welcome to today's broadcast on the Morning Roar. And I'm Quentin Baker, and today's Wednesday, November 5th. At this time of the year, children who are stuck in the hospital need a little extra love, something to hold on to in the chairs. Here comes Patty Payne with a soft, plush body, pink rosy cheeks, and a cute heart on the back. Patty Payne gives love and comfort. Basketball for Life Foundation is selling these adult penguins to donate to the sick children at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, the Ronald McDonald House of Southern New Jersey and Camden, and the PICU at Virtual and Voorhees. Proceeds from the sale will raise money for our college scholarships for seniors at yours truly, the Lowell High School, Williamstown High School, and Sterling High School. Also, a basketball program will be raised at the Ronald McDonald House in Camden in memory of Alfred William Lee. Each student who sells a penguin will be given two hours of community service. The students who sell the most will be allowed to assist in delivery of these penguins to the children. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Lee in C-104 for a brief meeting on Monday, November 10th, after school for more information. Sports physicals will be held Wednesday, November 5th at 2.30 after school. Please make your appointment with Ms. Medias and the school nurse by Thursday, October 30th. Physical candidates must have their completed history, forms, and consent signed by their parent or guardian. There will be a wrestling meeting on Wednesday, November 12th at 5 p.m. Be there, be square. Please meet in the wrestling room. For all concert band students, after school rehearsals are on Monday. They begin immediately after school. For all concert choir students, after school rehearsals are on Thursday. They also begin immediately after school. Any questions? See, stop by the music room and meet Ms. Newberry. Step team trials will be held today and Wednesday in the cafeteria. Participants must be there by 2.30. Doors will be closed and locked at that time. If you have not turned in a uniform contract, you must do so before trials begin. See Mrs. Lee in C-104 for any questions. Attention all students, beginning Monday, November 10th, Interact and Red Cross Clubs, along with the Student Council, invite you to be a helping hand in our annual Thanksgiving food drive. Our goal is to collect enough food to provide Thanksgiving dinner for 15 families. Please bring your non-perishable food donations to either Ms. Medias' office or Ms. Porter's room. Our drive ends Tuesday, November 25th. Please lend a helping hand. Attention all upperclassmen, want to be involved in this year's Powder Puff game on Wednesday, November 26th, after school and try to take down the reigning faculty team. Please see your advisors to sign up. Now it's time for the weather. Go to our meteorologist. I'm Alicia Wilson with today's forecast. For today we'll have a mostly cloudy day with a high of 66 and a low of 51. The wind's coming from the west at 9 miles per hour. Well, let's take a look at the five-day forecast. Thursday we'll have rain with a high of 61 and a low of 45. On Friday we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high of 52 and a low of 32. On Saturday we'll have mostly sunny skies with a high of 49 and a low of 39. On Sunday we'll have a few showers with a high of 56 and a low of 37. We'll have over a five day forecast with Monday we'll have mostly sunny skies with a high of 48 and a low of 37. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alicia Wilson with the 401. A Thai court sentenced a university student to two and a half years in prison on Tuesday for posting a message on Facebook that the court said insulted the country's king. A criminal court judge found 24-year-old Akaradet Yamshuan guilty of violating Thailand's law, which punishes people who defame, insult, or threaten the monarchy. The ruling said Akaradet used an alias to post a message on Facebook in March. He was arrested in Bangkok in June and has been in jail since then. The court said it reduced an original sentence of five years imprisonment to two and a half years because the defendant had confessed to the offense. This has been your 401. Now back to the news desk. We're back. Well, I'm Basante Bundy. And I'm Quentin Baker. Stay classy, little walk. Thank you for watching today's telecast of the Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS TV. 
Watch this and other shows at LHSTV.com.